Jake Paul loses to Tommy Fury by split decision. Welcome to another Combat King video. Uh, it's just happened today uh, that Jake Paul has lost to Tommy Fury via split decision. Um, would, which means Drake has lost $400,000, uh, which is pretty bad. But, you know, it's Drake. He's got enough money. But, you know, they ain't, they ain't eating good tonight. So, the fight summary is that Tommy... I've got a few notes that I've jotted down. Uh, Tommy comes out with an explosive jab, but Jake was diving and diving under and clinching at the start of the uh, round. So uh, Tommy wanted to control Jake's jabs and drive him to the ropes. Jake was trying to exhaust Tommy and maybe try to KO him in the later rounds, which did not work as that was his game plan. Jake found a lack in Tommy's D by throwing overhands. Uh, Jake struggles to close the distance which he has done which he needs to work on because he has done it against in all his fights against Anderson Silva and Tyron Woodley. Jake became too predictable with his attack because he couldn't land shots so he went for the body instead so he became way too predictable for going for that body all the time because he couldn't land the shots that he wanted to. Uh, at the end of the eight rounds it was announced a split decision to Tom, Tommy Fury. Good job for Jake for stepping in the ring but it was not his best performance uh, Tommy Fury should be embarrassed for that performance as he could not even win unanimous, uni, unanimously. Oh, sorry, guys. You uh, unanimously. Oh my God, I can't even do that. Unanimously. I'm dyslexic. Sorry, guys. Against the so-called influencer boxer. Uh, um, Jake Paul says in the post-match um, press conference. That he is going to go this, he's going to uh, run this one back uh, before KSI and proceeds to say JJ ha has not fought a real fighter, so we don't know his skill level, but obviously that's a massive fight still, which I do agree with him. Um, I believe Jake will beat Tommy in the rematch, as he has already, he has a really good mentality, same as JJ. So, he's got a real good mentality, mentality, so I reckon he will go back and he will defeat Tommy. Um, it could lead to a trilogy so that Jake KSI fight could get put back, but we don't know. Um, I don't think Tommy will run it back if he gets knocked out, though. But if he's if it wins, wins on the decision again to Jake, I think they will run it back for a trilogy. Uh, this is the time for JJ, JJ to go out there and fight fight. And get that Joe fight and show everyone why he is the best and shop fear into people. That's what he needs to do, I reckon. He needs to go get that fight straight away. Beat Joe and show that everyone that he is the better boxer. And if JJ beats Joe, I believe that he will beat Jake as well. I believe that he would have more skill and more wanting. Um, if you know what I mean. I feel like Jake became too, you know, oh yeah, I'm the best influencer boxer, you know. And so it's been your boy Combat King, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.